गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज ए केस ऑफ सी ए लोअर लिप सी ए लोअर लिप एंड कन्फाइन टू द लोअर लिप एंड यू सी देर इज नो जी बी एस इन्वॉल्वमेंट अंटर जी बी एस इन्वॉल्वमेंट एंड देर इज नो नोट्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू प्लान फॉर द मोल्ड ब्राकीथेरापी वेरी सिंपल वे हाउ टू मेक द ब्राकीथेरापी विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्मॉल पीस ऑफ थर्मोप्लास्टिक मॉस्क वाक्स एंड वायर्स आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव सो दिस इज द so and um, this is the this is the small plate uh, small piece of uh, ma mask you can see just melt uh, i mean make it melt at 70 uh, 70 degree centigrade and centigrade fahrenheit or centigrade centigrade so make it dry Uh, then wrap with uh, wax cover with uh, dental wax you can see this is smooth wax it can cover it properly you can see uh, very good how how they make it okay uh, remaining part you can cut it so this is the dental wax okay so just uh, melt it again so this is the things we can do it now take the wires to fix it uh, we need another piece of wax ah uh, for distance uh, two three um, uh, wires you can put according to your uh, need and uh, expecting the dose distribution now one place of one piece of wax again you can put hmm. okay so your mold is ready now your mold is ready now so keeping some distance you cut the wires and uh, again uh, pre uh, fix it in during uh, treatment inside the lip so this is the your uh, uh, your uh, 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 lip mold is ready uh, um, put the copper wire and do the take a ct scan so that you can delineate the catheters properly in the ct scan this is the ct scan you can see this is the ct scan where the all uh, things are there you can contour uh, so you can see this is the first catheter this is the second catheter this is the third catheter and we have put three catheters you can uh, put a copper wire so that you can be visible uh, take your help of the physicians then contour the gtv gtv should be contoured in the all windows mostly it is a air space and subtis window so you should comb it in the long long window you can contour in the axial coronal and sagittal see in the with rolling to everything uh, rolling from the up to down left to right you contour the gtv then you put ctv the ctv you can see around 1 cm margin around um, uh, crop from the skin crop from the mold and you can uh, do the contouring of this ctv then oh, as a or you can contour the mandible you can see the mandible will be contoured here so this mandible will help you to contour and do the point dose in the mandible and this things so gtv ctv and pt mandible is ready then you plan for the plan in the planning system either what is your uh, like we have ifsa or we did manual planning 
and you see the 100% coverage at least GT should 100, 100 or 198 on coverage then CTV should be 100% uh, 100 100% of dose should be 95 90% uh, 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 of the volume coverage and um, um, there, there is a called DNR ratio what is the DNR ratio um, 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 then you go for the calculation of the um, volume of the primary uh, CTV primary um, 100, uh, volume of 150% to the ratio of 100, 100%. So suppose here 100, uh, 150% volume is around 52 and 100 is the 90. It should be uh, around 4 to, uh, 4 to 5.2, uh, 0.4 to 0 0.5, uh, 0.4 to 0.52. So it is a ratio, DNR ratio should be uh, 0.4 to 0.52 um, according to the Kovas article. And here it is slightly higher. I am accepting because the GTB is there uh, covering. And uh, now see the GTB coverage. 100% uh, is 100% uh, um, of the dose covering the 97% of the volume and mandible. And you have to see the mandibular dose. Uh, there is uh, what is the max dose? Two cc, uh, two cc of the mandible, uh, getting uh, three point uh, one gray. But where uh, we will put uh, lead blocks inside during CT scan, we will put wax blocks, and uh, during uh, treatment, we will put uh, some uh, lead blocks uh, in between the uh, lip and the gingiva. So this is the thing we have to treat the plan, and uh, just uh, that is all about the planning system. Thank you. So we plan for the radiation dose around 4.25 gray coming to be 51 fraction in 12, uh, 51 gray in 12 fraction. So that if you see the EQD2 alpha wave beta at 10 gray, it is uh, um, EQD2 is equal to 60 gray. So we want to keep the dose at 60 gray and around 4.25 gray per fraction, uh, 12 gray fraction twice a day for the six days. This is the dose protocol we follow. Thank you. So when you are ap applying the mold, you just see apply some xylocan jelly around that so that it will be help is a lubricating for a proper uh, fix as well as it will uh, act as a local anesthetia. So now you just see how it happens. <laughs> So, it is fixed now, you can see, now in between the mandible, we will give some lead blocks to decrease the, so lead blocks, lead blocks uh, should be uh, covered with wax to prevent uh, backscatter and you put these things. Use your use the forcep. Very good. Now uh, drag the lip. Lip lip. Now intraoral prosthesis. You can put so that it will prevent goes to the upper lip and upper mm -hmm. uh, ensure that the mold is touching to the um, um, lip properly there should be skin contact otherwise it will mm -hmm. be problematic skin contact is there no yes sir. Hmm. Okay, no? skin contact is there. Mm. Just to, we just put the catheters to put uh, uh, water slippage inside. Now we are connecting the 
triệu Now we are going to out to start the addition. 